Hey, what's going on? It's Tony Angelos, your Chicagoland real estate broker. And today we are looking at Naperville once again, continuing our series. And I have picked up three properties that are under $300,000. I'm going to add them to our playlist right here, right over here. So you can look at all the things, but I want to show you like what you can get within each price bracket. And 300 was a little tough. It's pretty much the bottom of the, of the, of the brackets in Naperville. It's going to pretty much confine us to about a two bedroom condo. I think I picked out one house. And we'll take a look at these and show you what you could get for this price point in Naperville. Um, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get right into this because we got three properties to look through. And let me know what you think. Put down in the comments what your favorite one is. Yeah, let's just let's just do it. I got my coffee. I'm ready to rock and roll. All right, our first property we're looking at is 2812 Powell Court, Naperville. It's 2829. It is a two bedroom, three bathroom townhouse. It's this one right here. So you can see it's a single car garage. 1600 square feet that's pretty big actually and let's see what it says about this property abundance of cabinet counter space pantry and updated appliances family room can also be a dining and family room laundry room on the second level that's nice so you don't have to go downstairs to do your laundry open loft area with office and den primary bedroom has a walk-in closet vaulted ceilings great outdoor space open green air so let's dig in and look into this property so first thing i noticed it just looks like a pretty um standard starter townhome from the late 90s i actually kind of like these they kind of remind me of home a little bit brick facade vinyl vinyl siding but let's look into the property itself a little bit so this is the foyer and you can see i mean because you can't see my fingers but you can see like right when you walk in this is just off the pier you can see the door a little bit right here so this is just off of the um, the entry and the kitchen starts right here so you basically walk right into the kitchen it's a pro con you know you're, you decide but what do i notice from this it probably has not been updated since the property was built in the late 90s um, there's nothing wrong with it but like once upon a time this headboard up here they just filled it in because they didn't think people wanted to cabinets all the way up to the top. So these are actually pretty easy to remove if you wanted to redo this kitchen, put it all the way up to the top, or even reconfigure it a little bit to make the space a little bit more open. It's not a huge kitchen either, so that it wouldn't be terribly expensive to do. Um, and you can make it, you know, bring it, bring it to the future, so to speak. Here's more photos of the kitchen. That tile, that tile kicks ass. All right, so this is what I think they're calling the great room. I don't think this is that great of a room. This is a very generic um, living room, I guess you could say. Carpet looks okay, looks pretty clean, um, but nothing particularly remarkable about it. One thing to note when looking at uh, HVAC equipment, you should look at the bottoms over here because the bottoms really tell the story. You would notice any corrosion down here if there was any moisture. It doesn't look like there's any moisture. This doesn't particularly look very new, but it looks like it's been, you know, pretty good shape. It's, it's obviously old. It might even be the original one, to be honest with you, but no moisture damage. Okay. Excuse me. I'm a little, a little under the weather this morning. Um, this looks like it's the office. It almost looks like an, it's an extension of the bedroom, but <laughs> it does not look like the best place to work. I'll be honest. Oh, there's the loft. Here's one bedroom. This is, uh, this is a full bathroom, but this is not the ensuite. I know that for sure. All right, this is the primary. You can see the vaulted ceiling. It's not super vaulted, but it's a nice little touch. Um, and then it goes right into the ensuite. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's, it's a little outdated. You'll see here that the AC unit is also um, probably the original, to be honest. So you're talking 25 years, potentially small little brick paver patio type of thing no privacy overall though i mean it's a great starter it's a great start town home you get a little bit more than a condo you you know don't have the maintenance of a single family house i'm pretty sure the hoa is pretty light here yeah 182 a month that's not bad all right so this is the first one if you like it so far do me a favor just hit the like button and uh put me put down in the comments what you think about this one so far let's go to the next one Okay, moving on to number two, we're at 1229 Rhodes Lane. This is $293,000, two bed, two bath, a little bit smaller, but there's some things I wanna point out that as a home buyer, you should probably look for, and I really like about this place. Um, newer furnace, AC, dishwasher, stove, refrigerator in the past five years. This newer furnace and AC, this alone is worth probably close to 10K. Windows, past three years, that depends on how many windows were actually renovated, but if you figure a window could be anywhere from 500 to $1,000, you know, if they replace 10 windows, 
that could be a pretty significant um, upgrade. Um, so let's go inside and look at it. I will say before we even look at this place, the pictures really suck and that's probably uh, hurting this, this listing a little bit. And yeah, let's go into it. Driveway looks to be in pretty good shape. I don't know if the driveway would fall under the um, requirement of the HOA or not, but driveway looks to be in good shape. This yellow paint, this ain't it, man. But um, this is an actual great room. I, I like it. It's it's big. It has it draws your eye up. It gives you a lot more space, and it has two doors to. I don't know if it's the back or the side of the building. I can't really tell. But um, this is a legitimate great room. This flooring, I looked it up because it, it's cocoa laminate. This is actually a waterproof AquaGuard laminate. It's twelve meter, twelve millimeters thick, so it's the thickest laminate you could get before you go to hardwood. This is actually a pretty solid thing. I have it in my condo too, in the basement, because it is waterproof. And um, it looks great, it feels great. It feels, it has it has a very high quality feel to it when you're walking on it. Um, so kudos to them, this is this is pretty good. It's like three bucks, it's like $3 a square foot too. So it's, it's not the cheapest thing either. Okay, this looks to be maybe a dining room. I can't really tell, but again, with the vaulted ceilings, nice, you know, a nice room to do your you know, dinner parties in. I would probably change that light fixture to something a little bit more elegant. I'd also probably change this yellow paint because I, I really hate this yellow paint. All right, kitchen. Kitchen looks pretty good. You know, there's nothing particularly wrong, wrong with it. I can't tell if this is a laminate or stone countertop, but, you know, they clearly painted it. They clearly, you know, sort of upgraded the, appli the appliances to at least moderate standards, I guess you could say. But um, there's nothing wrong with this this kitchen. It's just a little bit you know, bare bones. It leads right into, I guess this would be the dining room on the other side if I had to guess. It's kind of hard to get your bearings in this place, but. Um, all right, here is bathroom number one. This is builder grade, um, you know, nothing much to it. This I'm assuming is a bedroom. Yeah, this is definitely a bedroom. It's got this little workbench over here, day bed, whatever you want to call that. And then this would be the ensuite. Um, again, you could totally get a double vanity in here. There's enough space. Uh, yeah, that's it. No photos of the backyard, so they, they don't give us anything with that. And this condo, or this townhome, I should say, has a higher HOA fee for $330 a month. Um, I don't love that. So it's like, I think about 150 more than the last place we just saw. But what I do like about this place is that the uh, mechanicals are a lot newer. It's a little bit smaller, but that doesn't really bother me all that much because some of that space is in like the extra bathrooms and the primary ensuite was much bigger than the other place too. So for me, that's almost like dead space. Um, I like the height in the rooms in here. And I also like, um, like I said, the, the updates that they've made for the additional $5,000, whatever it is, I'd say, I think this place is, is worth it. All right, let me know between the last two townhomes which one you thought was the best because the next property we're going to see is a single family home. And this one kind of might give you some mixed emotions, but it really goes to show the difference between a townhome and a single family home in the same price range. Um, and as always, if you're thinking about making a move, feel free to reach out. My contact information is in the description. I'd love to talk to you. And with that being said, let's get right into the final property. Okay, we are on the final property. If you're liking the video so far, do me a favor. Let me know in the comments or just give me a like, just throw a little, throw a little support here. But this is 950 North Brainerd Street. This is a single family house, two bed, one bath, 900 square feet. And um, technically this falls under the $300,000 mark. So we're going to include it. And I want to point out a couple of things here. This roof looks not new. Um, they say it's just added in March, 2023. So this could either be dirty or it could just be an old photo, but um, they do say it's a new roof. I don't know if I believe that. Right here, it looks kind of like the window either has some rot or it might be dirty. It's hard to tell from these photos, but you know we're going to dive in. Let, let's just take a brief look at this. Uh, great starter home, two bed, one bath. Living room features wood laminate flooring, new carpet in both bedrooms, extra storage. Um, selling home as it appears as is. So the only thing we know about this home really is uh, it's on a cul-de-sac. I saw it somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's on a cul-de-sac. And... Um, that's it. It's 900 square feet. It's tiny, but if you are just looking for a two bedroom place, just start your home. This could be a good one and it could be a good candidate for a renovation loan that I've talked about in plenty of my videos on YouTube, excuse me, and on, um, on social media as well. So looking at the photos, um, big driveway. This, this is what this driveway tells me. 
is probably going to be some work. Um, you're going to have to shovel it. You're going to have to repair it. It's really, really big. I'm not a huge fan of big drivers like this because people do not realize how much work they're going to be. Um, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Otherwise, vinyl siding, they say new roof, a little bit of hedges out here. Bare bones, basic. This is the cheap laminate flooring. This is probably, I think they say vinyl flooring. Vinyl flooring, if you're not familiar with it, I'd recommend you go to like a floor and decor or something like that and compare the two next to each other. This is basically plastic. Um, and it looks it looks cheap too. Wow, look at right here. They'd even like stagger these, it doesn't look like. It looks like they just laid them flat. This is the jankiest flip I've ever seen. Um, it's not even really a huge flip. It's like they moderately enhanced it. But either way, you walk in, you have, you know, some living area, you have maybe, I don't know what you would put here, potentially a, a dining area, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you would configure this layout, but um, it's just a small starter home. Appliances, and they need to be updated. This, this whole kitchen really could be torn out and, and you know, just rebuilt. I would probably, if I did that, I would probably put a bigger window here, let in a lot more light, rip out this headway, you know, put better, better cabinets. Look what they did here. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay. Um, what is this guy doing here? It's just chilling over here. Put your keys in when you walk in. All right. This is one of the bedrooms, new carpet. Carpet looks nice. You know, nothing spectacular about it. It's either the same bedroom or flipped, I guess. Um, this is the one bathroom. Since you only have one bathroom, I would probably gut this bathroom and I would make it as close to spa like it's like it's kind of hard to tell how big it is, but I would, I would bet you can make it really, really nice for 10K, maybe 12K tops, and you have a spectacular, spectacular um, uh, bathroom, your only bathroom. But I'm exposing this to the breezeway. This is a storage shed. No garage here, that's the note, but really big yard. This probably is a, is a hazard. I'd probably remove that, but really big yard. So you can do whatever you want, put a fence, give yourself some privacy. Overall, let me know what you think about this one. Uh, two bed, one bath, single family house, 279, 10 days on the site. There probably, there might be some room for negotiation here. All right, guys, that wraps this video up. What you can buy for under $300,000 in Naperville. I'm going to do more videos so you can, you know, click right here to check out the entire playlist and I'm going to start filling it up over time. So do me a favor, old subscribers, you know, new watchers. Let me know your thoughts. If you're new, consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. And go on, have a great day. I'm just getting started. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to go make my second cup of coffee and get out of my life. Signing off. Thanks. Hope this helps.